Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome in. How Woo -woo. everyone's doing well. Let's see. I got to click back to my chat so I can say hello. Hi, Neil. Well, first off, hi, Robin. <laughs> hey, Mitch Red. Thanks for having hi, me on. Yes, Robin's going to help me out and read the chat because I have a whole meal to cook for you guys. Um, so she's going to read the chat so that I can keep it moving. I am um, Steve. <laughs> I can't remember some of your names. Hi, honey bunny. Hey, Angelina. Hi, Liz. How is everybody doing? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> since we're already a little bit later in the day. <laughs> Angelina says, what's cooking? I'm hungry. We're going to have ham, pineapple casserole, and dressing. Mm, that sounds yummy. A, a whole meal. Basically, it's short and sweet. You can always add, you know, other items to it. But this is our dinner for tonight, so I wasn't going extreme. <laughs> Jerry says, what's up all driving to get another cabinet for the kitchen? And Neil says, I'm hungry. I had to eat a Twinkie while I waited. Oh, poor Neil. And Dawn's <laughs> here, the crafty visitor. Oh, she says, hi, friend, Robin. Hello, hello. Hi, Jerry. Hi, everyone in the chat. No texting and driving, sir. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll get started. So I'm going to adjust this down so you can see what I've got. How does that, is that okay? Yep. Perfect. Okay. All right, so I have my skillet getting hot over here because we're going to start with our dressing. It's a little more complex. So I've got a handy dandy chopper to make this process a little bit easier. And I've got it kind of at this smaller, oh, smaller cutting because we just want little bits. My kids don't like a whole lot of the, the vegetable. So for my dressing, I'm going to start out with one bell pepper. Sorry if that's loud. Oh, I used to work in an as seen on TV store and we had something similar to that. And it was called the nicer dicer. The nicer dicer. I like that. Jerry said, okay, leave in the driveway. I'll be back. And Kim's here and said, hello, everyone. Hi, Mom. That's, That's my your mom. mom. Aw. And Mr. Red's here, too. Hi, Hi Mr. Mr. Red. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to do a whole um, small yellow bell pepper. Do you need some muscles to, to get that through? You just got to kind of smack it to get it to act right sometimes. <laughs> Neil says, can we switch the, the pineapple out? I'm not a fan of pineapple. Oh, pineapple's delicious, and it goes well with ham. All right, so I'm just chopping it all and letting it all go in here because it's all going together anyway. That thing's <clears throat> handy. Yeah, I got one small onion, and you can use whatever onion that you like. I'm something white. That's what I have on hand. Where did you get that chopper thing? Um, at Amazon, I think. Oh. Okay, so that's one small onion. And I had two stalks of celery. I know you like that. <laughs> yeah, I love celery. If anybody knows me, they know I love celery. Oh, crafty, crafty Visage says, I love that chopper too. And yes. Kelly's here. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. I hope your dentist appointment went well. And I'm not you. I'm not gonna make a big pan of dressing like I use usually do. So I'm gonna kind of. Neil, sa Neil says you could just use your scroll saw, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> And Brett's here. Hey, Brett. Hi, Brett. All right. Half, I'm, I'm going to use a half of a, a roll of sausage. And spicy, if you like a little heat, spicy. 
Lucy, Lucy Warren's world says, good evening. Hello. Your mom says, I have a few minutes and I have to leave for dinner. Miss Red will understand. Yes. My mom's on a fancy dancy vacation. <laughs> kind of. Neil says, hi, Mr. Red. You need to talk to the wife about pineapple. Maybe he <laughs> likes it. Is she on a cruise or something? No, they're um, visiting or touring um, Charleston, North Carolina and Savannah, oh. Georgia. Nice. Um, with a group of, of their friends from Ireland. Ooh. Yeah. They're having a good time. What are you adjusting there? My phone. <laughs> oh. Why are you breaking up the sausage? Because I want to ground it up like, you know, um, just bits and pieces. Uh-huh. We want to get all that good... Um, sausage um, fat going because that's what's going to brown our, our vegetables. Oh. So you can adjust this recipe to fit um, your family size. Like I said, we're, we're having this for dinner tonight, so I'm not going to make a great big pan of it. Um, Florida Mama Bear's here. Hi, Florida Mama Bear. Hi, Florida Mama Bear. I'm sorry if this is real noisy. Uh, it's okay. I can move my mic up off of the counter. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> so I'm just I'm just browning half a roll of sausage. And like I said, you can use spicy, you can use mild. Um, either is good, whatever your preference is, whatever your brand is. Dawn with an E says, I use a potato masher to break out ground meat. See, I used to have a fancy chopper and it disappeared. <laughs> Mr. Red, did you hear that for Christmas? A fancy chopper. <laughs> a fancy chopper. Did you flour it, said Neil? No. We're not making gravy, so we don't need to flour the meat. And it's good to like cut it up a lot as you're yeah, just um, chop cooking it, up. it. Like you would do, um, you know, ground meat for uh -huh. tacos. Just chop it up like that. This is all going into our dressing. <laughs> oh, wow. When you say dressing, do you mean like stuffing? There's a difference, but yes. <laughs> yes. We... Cause I... Go ahead. Go. Well, because I thought dressing was like salad dressing, you know, because I'm not, <laughs> um, I don't know very much about cooking, so. Yeah. Well, anything like um, my mom could tell you um, better than I could. Something about <laughs> cornbread and bread is more dressing and bread is stuffing oh your mom says it's nice to have your lady for narration to help you please forgive me that i haven't seen this before <laughs> and neil said chainsaws make good choppers <laughs> okay i have my ground meat it's just about cooked so i'm gonna go in and add a half a stick of butter and this is real butter, not margarine. <laughs> okay. It makes a difference. And I use unsalted um, just because I can control how much salt is in it instead of what they already put in there. Uh, Patriot Mama says, dressing is made on the side. Stuffing goes in the bird. Also, dressing is prepped differently. Yes. Two, sometimes include sausage and sometimes use mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. 
my uh, mother-in-law makes one with mashed potatoes and it's to die for. I love it. Hi, Patreon really? Mama. Yeah, it's got summer savory in it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was stuffing though, but your, well, hus your husband said, we say things differently down here in the south. Did I say it right? Yes. <laughs> in the south. In the south. Florida Mama Bear says, the old days, mom would chop the bread up and toast it in the oven and make the dressing. Yes. See, I've got my, my cornbread here. Did you just make that? Earlier. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Neil says. I, you, I had a lot to do. <laughs> yeah. Neil says, you can't beat a good stuffing. I don't okay. know. My butter's melted down, and that's just going to kind of help cook the vegetables down and mix with that sausage um, fat or grease that we have a little bit. So I'm going to take my, my vegetables that I chopped in my handy-dandy chopper. They're all in there, and all I got to do is dump it them in. in. Does Mr. That's Red do the dishes since you're doing the cooking? No, and let me give a shout out because I, I said I would. My daughter, Chastity, cleans the kitchen after I make all these dishes and all these meals with you guys. And she never complains. She does? He does. Aw, that's so sweet. Both girls do it, but she's more willing. <laughs> <clears throat> Florida Mama Bear says, yummy cornbread dressing. And yeah. Ange Angelina says, how long is it going to take me to drive to Miss Red's house? Thinking my dinner will be cold. Ugh. <laughs> Neil we'll said, leave it in the oven for you. <laughs> Neil said, I don't like cornbread. And Billy Bob said, bacon with Miss, bacon with Miss Red. Are we baked? No. <laughs> and Florida Mama Bear said, what a sweet child. She's right. What a sweet child. So nice. Is that the one she with the shines long hair? in the places where it, it, it's meaningful. She's a butthead other, any other time, though. <laughs> so we're just going to put this down until it all kind of gets all soft and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and add in my seasonings. And this is just kind of what I have on hand. So I've got a little garlic salt. Um, half a teaspoon. I'm going to use a little adubo. <clears throat> mm -hmm. About the same amount. Liz says, shout out to your daughter, Miss Red. And Mr. Red said, I clean as I go. But I've spent years in the food industry. <laughs> Neil said, that's an awesome daughter. Mr. Red needs to raise her pocket money. And Liz <laughs> said, me too, Red's homestead. Neil said, Miss Red should have just made pizza. I like pizza. And then he said, who? Adubo? What? Adubo. Oh. Is it is it backwards on the? It's backwards, isn't it? No, no, it's uh, it just looks backwards to you, but it's actually right, oh, right okay. way. Yeah, that's a great all-purpose seasoning. So I just did like half a teaspoon or about a teaspoon of the adubo, the garlic salt. I added just a sprinkle of the red pepper flakes, and uh, a cap full of parsley flakes to make it pretty. Because let's get real, parsley really doesn't have a flavor. Adobo seasoning. I use that also, said Flor Florida Mama Bear. It's and great. Billy Bob said, hello, Miss Red. Hello, Robin. Hello, Neil. Hello, Hi, Kathy. Bob. Hi, is Kathy in? I might have missed that one. Yeah, I missed that one, too. Who's Kathy? <laughs> <laughs> Was that your mom? No, that's him. Oh, yeah, that's right. We'll find out. The mystery person. <laughs> Neil, 
Neil says, I've seen it in the store. Yeah. Maybe he considered buying it. And now, since he saw it on your channel, he's going to get it. You hear that, Adubo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, I, I use this in, like, everything. It's just an all-purpose seasoning. And it has with pepper and it has without. So there's like, I think the one without pepper is blue. I think. Do, 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 do. So you okay. just mix that up until, um, yep. how do you know when it's ready? Uh, when the, when the onions and, and stuff become kind of translucent. Okay. That's it. So I'm going to let that cook and I'm going to put my mixture. I'm going to crumble my cornbread. So I'll move that over here. Neil, Neil said Mrs. Dash is good. Yes. <laughs> Red said... When it goes beep, that's when you know it's ready. <laughs> <laughs> ABG's here and says, what time is dinner? Hi, ABG. As soon as you get here, girl, and I'll wait for you. Patriot Mama said, I use adobo in my cheeseburger dip. Ooh, cheeseburger dip. That sounds that good. That sounds good. Sable's here. Hi, Sable. Hi, Sable. So I'm just crumbling. Kind of leaving it chunky. That's my cornbread. And I and um the cornbread I'm using is the same recipe I made before. Last last week or the week the week before. Um if you don't have cornbread, what could you use instead? Um you could use bread, um like toast some bread or get stale bread. Um, Sable says love and good food to all um, there's like these little bread things that are real crunchy oh yeah you can use these you can use um, just cube bread is fine I'm gonna add Ange that in there. Angelina said Sid brought me breakfast slash lunch in bed. I'm guessing oh. I won't convince him to cook dinner, too. That was <laughs> nice. How oh, nice. Potato bread makes really good dressing, says Patriot Mama. Oh, yeah. You can use any kind of bread you have. <laughs> Steve said, it's very hard to make cornbread dressing without cornbread. <laughs> right. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> But I think this is just about done. I don't know if you can see the consistency. Yeah. Of the, you see how the onions are just kind of starting to get translucent? Mushy, kind of. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is done. I'm going to turn this off. That. And I'm just going to dump this right in. Jesse, the crafty gypsy's here. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. I also put oysters in my dressing, said Patriot Mama. Yes. Ooh. I'm Mar familiar with that as well. Maritza's here. Hola, Maritza. Hola, Maritza. Okay. So, let me unplug my so i've got that mixed in and i'm just going to kind of toss it okay without spilling it out of your container or your but it smells container. good in there yes <clears throat> that's one of my favorite things about making dressing for thanksgiving is it just smells amazing with that or sausage and butter and the the vegetables florida mama bear says oh dear no seafood for me and neil says oysters are an aphrodisiac 
They are. And, ne and Angelina says, Neil, Wednesdays are his day off. He almost always cooks breakfast for me on that day. Aww. How oh, nice. That's sweet. Red says, uh -oh. Red says, Red says, I. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I eat oysters and sardines right out of the can. LOL. Mrs. Miss Red hates it. It is. It's gross. It stinks. <laughs> and chillin' grillin' with Henry says, "Much love, Mr. Red. Much love, Robin. Thanks, Henry." Okay. Maybe so just a little Miss, milk. Miss Red. A little milk and egg to pour on top. Patriot Mama says the oysters are pretty much undetectable in the dressing. Just gives it a little spice. Is that Larry? I was wondering. No, he would have come in and said howdy howdy to my wonderful, wonderful friends and neighbors with a million exclamation marks. <laughs> All right, so that was one egg and a splash of milk, and I'm just going to pour that on top. That's going to kind of be our binder to help it stay together. Florida Mama Bear says, that's okay, Neil. I do not do seafood at all. And Billy Bob said, Mr. Red, that sounds like a winner. And chilling, grilling with Henry's just saying hi to everybody. Hi, Henry. Neil says, I don't, Florida Mama Bear. Florida Mama Bear, you don't eat seafood and you're in Florida? <laughs> Chillin' Grillin' with Henry says, one love. Okay, so this was the most complex thing of, of the menu. It has a lot to go in it, but it's still easy enough to do. And I just used my skillet and my pan in a bowl to mix up, <clears> with <throat> the, mix the egg in the skillet if I really wanted to save on dishes. Billy Bob said, no, I can't get Mama Bear to even go near a seafood restaurant. Is that, is that Florida Mama Bear's husband? Who's, who said it? Billy who? Bob. Or maybe I'm thinking of someone else. <clears throat> Alfonso's here. Hello, Miss Red. Hello, Robin. Hope you're all having a blessed day. Hi, Alfonso. Hope you're doing well. Red says, I used to live in Melbourne, Florida. And Angelina's be right back phone. Neil said, Billy Bob and Florida Mama Bear are married. I know. That's what I want to know, too. Yeah, that's her husband. Whoa, I didn't know that. That's cool. Hi, Mr. Florida Mama Bear. <laughs> oh my gosh. And um, chilling, grilling with Henry says, Much love. It's getting late in the UK. So just a quick stop by. Thanks for stopping by, Henry. Okay. In the oven, 350. 30, 45 minutes. Florida Mama Bear says, I was raised in the Bahamas. My family ate seafood all the time. I got deathly ill from seafood when I was young. Oh, for you. Oh, no. <clears throat> All right. So that's it for our dressing. So that's in the oven, like I said, at 350, 30, 45 minutes. Now we're going to make the pineapple casserole. Sorry, I mean, Neil. Stands okay. pineapple for Neil. So I kind of don't have enough cheese, so we're just going to make it with what we have. That's okay. It's not a big deal. So we're going to start with our <coughs> bowl of six tablespoons of pineapple juice. And you just save that from your can of pineapple. So that's six tablespoons of the juice. Neil says, Miss Red, do you have an air fryer? I do. Six tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Henry said, hit the like, please, for your host. Thank you, yes. Henry. Thanks, Henry. One cup of white sugar. <clears throat> Give that a good mix. 
Neil says, good job, I ate a Twinkie. <laughs> I don't like Twinkies. They don't have enough filling in them. Two 20-ounce cans of pineapple. Chunks. And you're going to mix that in your flour, sugar, and juice mixture. Alfonso says, please give a thousand thumbs up and hugs. And Henry said, cheers, you guys. I think he said, you're awesome. Stay awesome. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay, so that's my pineapple, the pineapple juice, the flour, and sugar. Billy Bob okay. said, I'd rather have a Boston cream donut than a Twinkie. Yeah, me too. Mmm, donuts are my favorite. <laughs> okay, just spraying my dish here. And I'm going to put my pineapple in. Yeah, Neil said, Miss Red, you need an electric mixer. I have one. <laughs> it just makes too much noise. Florida Mama Bear says, making pineapple upside down cake for Thanksgiving. Yeah. ABD said, listening while driving home from work. Be careful. Yeah, I feel like she must be tired. So you're supposed to use two cups of cheddar um, cheddar cheese. Uh -huh. um, we used it for <laughs> we used it for our salad last night, so I don't have two cups left. Oh so well. I'm just using what I have, which is looks like it'll be fine. So you would top it with um, two cups of cheddar cheese. It needs okay. to be cheddar. That's not an option. <laughs> Red said, we have an electric mis electronic mixer. And Neil said, I like donuts. Yes, we know. <laughs> so that's for that. We're going to make the cracker topping now, which is Ooh. one fourth uh, cup of melted butter and one sleeve of Ritz crackers. So I crunch, just like, crunch those crackers. Yeah, I just like push it between my hands still in the package and uh what are you doing? <laughs> Being cautious. So just mix it right in there. You're being sneaky. Yeah. <clears throat> He's probably hungry. Oh, I thought he was gonna moon us. <laughs> no, don't do that again. <laughs> He thought that was so funny. <laughs> Patriot Mama, he was sneaky. Patriot Mama says, I'm making chocolate, peanut butter, pumpkin, and apple pies and pumpkin rolls. Oh, my wow. goodness. Neil I says, hope that, that's all you're um, having to, to provide and not the meal, too. That's a lot. Neil says, any cheddar? I like extra sharp. You can use any cheddar, <clears throat> but it has to be cheddar. And Neil says, he's hungry. Angelina says, wait, I need to put on my glasses. <laughs> In case he moons. Oh, Angelina. You ain't missing nothing. He ain't got nothing back there anyway. <laughs> All right. That's my cracker topping. Throw that right on top of the cheese. Look at him in the background there. <clears throat> close your close your eyes. He's un undetectable. Okay, that's it for that. And I think this is like an eight by eight. Let's see if it tells me. I can't read it. I don't know. It's like a brownie pan. So that that mix that mixture fits perfectly in this. So if you are making this for a larger group, you probably need to double the recipe. 
We'll just get you to make it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Angel Same Angelina. Same temperature. <laughs> Same temperature 33. Oh, 30. 350 <clears throat> for 30 minutes. <laughs> Angelina says, put that bowl down. You're blocking my view. <laughs> Patriot Mama says, no, making the meal too. One smoked turkey and one deep fried pickled, uh, one deep fried pickled and deviled eggs, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, homemade gravy and veggies. Oh my. And Neil says, can't you zoom in for Angelina? I will not expose everybody to that. <laughs> Okay, so our dressing's in the oven at 350, our pineapple casserole's in the oven at 350. So now I'm going to do my ham because it's already cooked. It just needs to kind of be warm. Okay. And I just got a small one because, like I said, that's, um, that you know, we're just having this for dinner. So it's a small, already spiral cut ham. So you bought it and it's already cooked. Is that what you're saying? Or you got yeah. it home and you yeah. cooked it and then you sliced it. It's a, uh, hold on. Mr. Red wants to say something. Okay. Go ahead. She was just saying it's already sliced and everything. And I was just going to be like, yeah, welcome to America. Oh, <laughs> do you have spiral ham in, in um, Canada? I, I don't think so. I'm not sure. Uh -huh. It's yeah, it's already cooked, and it's this is off of the bone already. You can get them that, that still have the bone, and okay. it's it's cut already. I don't know. Check your grocery store. <laughs> so, for my ham, I reserved some pineapple juice from our pineapple, okay. and I mixed. Um, let me bring it over here. So I have pineapple juice, a few of the chunks of pineapple, um, six tablespoons of brown sugar, half a tablespoon of garlic, half a tablespoon of cinnamon. Just bear with me. It's the savory, salty, savory, sweet kind of thing. And I also have cloves and peppercorns. So I'm just dumping that right on. ABD said, sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. No, you go ahead. It just kind of creates a, uh, like a glaze. ABD says spiral sliced ham is the best. And then Neil said, what do you put in the ham? Brown sugar, honey. That was before like you put the stuff on. And oh. then, and then Neil said, no more pineapple. <laughs> Oh no, uh, what he meant to say was, no, more pineapple? Yes, more pineapple. So I just dumped it all on top and it'll, it'll bake in there and get like all sweet and juicy. So that's going in the oven right along with the rest of it. Florida Mama Bear says, I get the spiral ham for Christmas and make bah Bahamian peas and rice and other veggies. And Angelina says, I always cook my ham in Coca-Cola. What? Oh. <laughs> Billy Bob <laughs> said, you got to put pineapples and cherries on the ham. I don't have cherries. I had cherry juice, though. <laughs> I'm going to clean up my mess. You have cherry juice because everyone ate all the cherries? Is that yeah. why? But I like cherry juice on its own, so I didn't let them throw it away. <laughs> oh. what like do you do oh kim's leaving it's time for me to leave happy cooking everyone bye mom love you have a good night bye kim have a great evening and heather's here and says hello miss red and robin hi heather thanks for coming thanks for sharing in case you do and patriot mama says we have smoked brisket for christmas wow oh. really Neat. my mom fusses she says ham is for christmas and turkey's for thanksgiving but i don't like turkey oh i love turkey i I'm love gonna ham be a i don't like it <laughs> yeah 
Hi, Heathers. Florida Mama Bear says, New Year's Cuban baked pork roast. What? New Year's, what was it? Cube, Cuban. Cuban baked pork roast. Huh. What does that consist of? Because uh, when I think of Cuban, I think of spicy mustard and pickles. <laughs> Now, where's Mr. Red? He can come in and do his little dance for us now during intermission. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Red! Over here. Over here, you, just walking. Are you going to do your little dance for us? What dance? I don't know. I saw you do one in the doorway over there. <laughs> oh, no. I was like fading away. Goodbye. Oh, I, I see. Goodbye. I see. <laughs> Neil says, his moon. <laughs> Angelina They're says. I'm not going to let me live that down, just so you know. <laughs> Angel <laughs> Angelina says, I just want deviled eggs. Send me all of the eggs. And Heather says, you're sure? I did share this video out. You're welcome, Miss Red and Robin. Thank you, Heather, so much. So sweet Thank of you. Thank you, Heather. Florida That's Mama Bear. Go ahead. I was just saying that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, she always shares mine out. She's really nice. Oh. Florida Mama Bear says, marinate the pork roast in mojo and lots of garlic. Slow cook. Hmm. And Neil says, the moon dance? The, the moon, moon walk? Dance. The moon walk? Can you do that? No, I can fall walk. Oh. <laughs> JJ's Adventures here. Hey, Miss Red. Hi, how are you? Welcome in. So the Cuban doesn't really taste or have anything to do with pickles and mustard. I just had a Cuban pizza and it was like the shredded, shredded pork, I guess. And it had pickles and mustard, didn't it? Yeah, it was delicious though. I mean, it was different, but it was really good. What was the sauce on it? Was like normal sauce? Kind of like a barbecue. Yeah. It was a uh, mellow mushroom. Mellow mushroom has it. Well, did. Oh. I don't think they have it anymore. Patriot Mama says, does anyone else brine their turkey before making it? No. That's probably why mine's dry and disgusting. <laughs> Angelina says, oh, Florida Mama Bear, I want my next husband to be Cuban. Don't tell Sid. <laughs> Angelina, you are a woman of many colors, that's for sure. <laughs> JJ, if you haven't, you should hit that subscribe and also the bell on all so you don't miss any more of Miss Red's awesome cooking. Yes. Florida Mama Bear says Cuban sandwich has pork, sweet ham, Swiss cheese, pickles, and mustard. Yes. I Neil think says, that's the, the way they were leaning with the um, pizza. Neil said, I did look into Nutella no-bake cookies, and I found a recipe. Oh, Cool. It's, it's the same recipe. It just has Nutella instead of uh, peanut butter. Oh, here's my air fryer. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Vanna White. Mm -hmm. And my deep um, constructed cabinets because I'm painting them eventually. <laughs> JJ says, I'm going to put a turkey breast in the crock pot for Thanksgiving. And Patriot Mama says, Miss Red, my hubby heard that and said, so is mine. And JJ said, I've done both. Love you guys. Yay. Thank you, Jay. That's awesome. Did Kelly ever say how her dentist appointment went? Uh, I don't think I saw. Aw. 
I know she was really nervous. Liz is back. Oh, welcome back, Liz. Heather says, I based my turkey. It makes it juicy. Look, I cannot cook a turkey to save my life. I swear I can do anything else. But every time I try a turkey, it is so dry. I've even baked them in the bags, the turkey bags. No go. Maybe, maybe your oven's too hot or something. Could be. Here's the non-baked cooker telling the professional here how to make a turkey. No. You're trying. That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone's just saying hi to Liz. Everybody say hi. Angelina says, Hi, Patriot Papa. I'll call you once the ball and chains fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and Florida Mama Bear says, I cook my turkey in the plastic baking bag with a bottle of wine in it. Meat falls off the bone. Well, well, that's, that's an idea. I do have. I do have here 757, that. sorry, is here and says, hello, everyone. See these things here? The oven mm -hmm. bags? So you just use that with a bottle of wine? What kind of wine? I'm not a wino. I don't know these things. Patriot Mama says, he's laughing his butt off, Angelina. Liz says, I used to make turkey. Now I make two or three stuffed turkey breasts. JJ says, I've never had an issue with dry turkey. Mine are always moist. And King Bear's here and says he has a stretch pants on. Hi, King Bear. Yep. Thanksgiving's always the time to wear the stretchy pants. They say that's why we gain weight during the holidays because we wear loose fitting clothes. And if we actually wore like pants that aren't oh, straight, yeah. you don't eat as much because it pushes. Yeah. Whatever kind of wine you want to drink, sweetie, says JJ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big wine Does it make the turkey taste like wine though after? Billy Bob says, when you do that cooking bag, like Mama Bear is going to tell you, it just falls apart when you try and cut it. Dry hmm. turkey? That's what mustard's for. Duh. Mustard. Says Angelina. What does mustard do for turkey besides put it on a sandwich? Well, <laughs> if you can have it on a sandwich, you can have it on. I usually have uh, mustard with the ham. Hmm. Ham and mustard. Ham and mustard, do you use mayonnaise? Uh, not really. I'm going to adjust. Hmm. No mayonnaise. So what do nope. you do with the mustard, Angelina? Do you rub it on the turkey or are you talking about the sandwich? No, the wine cooks down but keeps the meat moist, said JJ. Mustard makes everything better, said Angelina. <laughs> Neil says, they say deep fried turkey is good. Deep fried turkey is good. I don't do it, though. It's too dangerous for me. <laughs> Not trying to catch a fire. Hmm. Deep fried turkey is delish. I have somebody that makes those. Well, they didn't do it last year. Billy Bob says, mayonnaise turkey stuffing. Cranberry, mayonnaise, turkey, stuffing, cranberry. Time to eat. Yeah. Okay. Patriot Mama says, it is, Neil. I'll never bake another turkey in the oven. Florida Mama <laughs> Bear said, ye, I season the turkey and pour in the bag. I do not use the butterball type turkey. Wine takes the foul taste away. Oh. Hmm. JJ said, I plan on using cranberries in my turkey this year. I kind of want to mm. try the wine thing. That's, that sounds cool. Yeah. As long as it, if it doesn't taste like wine, though, because I don't really like wine. Alfonso said, 
I heard mm. that your turkey may launch like a rocket if you deep fry it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some terrible videos of that. How long has the stuff um, been in and how long does it have left? It's been in almost 20 minutes. So about 30, 30 minutes is what the recipe says. Um, and like I said, the ham's already cooked. So we're just really warming it and getting that flavor into it. When you buy the ham at the grocery store, it's already cooked, right? You don't have to cook it again. Some, they do have, you know, uncooked turkey. I mean, uh, ham. Liz says, yes, Angelina, mustard dipping sauce when I make that turkey sandwich. Mm, a honey mustard would be amazing. Alfonso said, I had a turkey that got launched into outer space several years ago. JJ says, you won't have the wine taste. Florida Mama Bear, I do not stuff turkey. Angelina <laughs> says, my brother-in-law hates turkey. He only eats SpaghettiOs for Thanksgiving. What? SpaghettiOs? Yuck. Let me guess. He eats it right out of the can, right? Of course. <laughs> Patri Patriot Mama says, Alfonso, I guess that's possible. Oh, my husband likes uh, beefaroni right out of the can. So gross. Red said, if the turkey is too cold... And the oil is too hot. Kapow! <laughs> Kapow! <laughs> well, they put like bombs <laughs> going. <laughs> it smells really good in here. <laughs> Poor Mr. Red over there suffering. Yes. He'll be all right. Good things come to those who wait. Good, thing, <laughs> good things come to those who bake. <laughs> what? He said he'll be baked later on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Florida Mama Bear says, smoked turkey is wonderful, except they're too expensive. Yeah, JJ, every, everything's says, too expensive. I'll, I'll bet it does smell good. Yes. It does. The whole um, cloves. Well, the cloves and the pineapple and everything, the sausage and those veggies, it's just a very savory smell. So that's what you, I enjoy about this combo. Since you made this now, what are you going to make on actual Thanksgiving? I'm not, well, I'm just making some sides and a dessert because we're oh. going, uh, we're going to go to, with our family members. Oh. So everybody's kind of just making a little something. Is somebody making like a turkey or a ham? Um, yes. Somebody is making a turkey. My mom's, um, I don't know what you call it. Companion? <laughs> Companion is doing the ham. So we're having turkey and ham. Somebody's doing, it might be vice versa. His cousin is coming in from, um, out of town so she's doing the breads and i think the turkey or the ham either way and then he's doing the other one and i'm making green bean casserole um pumpkin cheesecake oh my god pumpkin cheesecake yes are you gonna do that one live mm -hmm. i'll do that next wednesday Neil says, what's the strangest thing everyone has eaten? I've got a jar of giant snails from Walmart once and ate some. What's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Red said, we've had tropical pickles before. JJ said, it's 
just going to be the two of us on Thanksgiving. That's why I'm doing a small turkey breast. Yes. And Patriot Mama said, we buy fresh turkey, cheaper this year than last, two forty nine dollars a pound. We don't smoke over a 15-pound turkey, though. Hmm. The strangest thing I've ever eaten? Oh, I don't know. I don't know either. Oh, conch, um, no, fritters, conch fritters. Conch? Yeah. It's a conch. Um, it's kind of like a sea snail. You know those oh. big con conch? Oh, shit? yeah. Um, I, I, aren't they the bigger ones? Like, you know, the people blow in and go, you know? Yeah. I guess that the it's it's like a some kind of snail. Snail, yeah. Anyways, I guess it was kind of like diced up and put in a batter and deep fried and kind of like a hush puppy, but like on a larger scale, like you know, like this instead of the smaller hush puppies. Do you know what hush puppies are? Uh, I don't, but Billy's had them before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's it's fried cornbread balls basically. Oh. Yeah, it goes well with fish and it's just good for your soul. Yeah, it's not good for you, it's good for your soul. Uh Patriot Mama says octopus is the strangest thing I've ever eaten. Florida Mama Bear says rabbit. My dad's mother told us it was chicken and conch fritters. Patriot yeah. Mama says hubby says we got yeah, we got them in Florida, um, Florida Mama Bear. That's where we had them. Patriot Mama says, Hubby says, Groundhog is the strangest thing he's ever eaten. <laughs> Angelina says, I bite my nails. Lord only knows what I've eaten. Oh, my God. That's funny. <laughs> ABD says, does not eat strange things. Touch puppies are yummy, she said. Yes. I don't know. I can't think of anything I've eaten that was strange. Neil, usually, don't make usually, me look stupid. <laughs> usually, usually, uh, usually when it's strange, I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> what? I don't what? like it. What? Oh, what noise <laughs> does it make when you nail. blow into it? I went, oh, yeah, I realized <laughs> it. I did it. Thank you. <laughs> Boy, it's never a dull moment with you around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, let's check. Oh, yeah. Oh, what now? Oh, I gotta look. It's oh, done. Yeah, okay. Here's the dress in. Wow, that looks amazing. It's so brown. That's done. And our pineapple casserole. Ooh, that looks really good. Wow, how nice it looks, eh? Yeah. JJ hey. said, y'all are cracking me up. Yum! And our ham. See how it's Ooh. Can you see it bubbling? Yeah. Ooh, that's hot. Red says, finally! <laughs> <laughs> Poor you see, red. He, it, he didn't say it because this would have went. <laughs> Instead, you got a giggle because I read it. <laughs> right? Robin saved you. So I'm just going to pour some of those juices right back on top of the ham. Kind of like what you would do with the turkey and basting. Could you move it back towards your other hand a oh. little bit just because we can't see? Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. No, it's fine. <laughs> So just pour, kind of separate those pieces and pour some juice on it. You see what I'm doing? I don't know if you can see. Where did you learn to cook from your mom? Um, yes. My mom allowed us to play in the kitchen a lot. Um, and I've always enjoyed baking. And my dad would eat anything that I made. Anything. <laughs> he 
he was quite the trooper or is quite the trooper he still to this day will eat anything um it's just gotten better and probably more edible but when i was seven when i was seven years old i made my own chocolate sauce recipe seven years wow. old wow that's pretty impressive yeah so it's just something i've always done i just enjoy cooking i like to make people happy with food so yeah. florida it's mama bear we all relate to everybody has to eat you know yeah florida mama bear says you have to beat the conch meat and then put it into a meat grinder then add flour baking powder onions garlic bell pepper and hot pepper salt and pepper and tomato sauce and bp yeah. here and says Mwah! sending love and hugs thanks bp good to see you hi bp we missed you earlier jj said wish i like to cook as much as you do <laughs> well it kind of gets expensive if you have to eat out all the time are you gonna set up a plate for mr red yep i'm getting that now <laughs> See, I got your back, Mr. Red. <laughs> he said, thank you. And I'm going to use a real plate. <laughs> I'll use a real plate for this. Got to make it look good. That's where I mess up. <laughs> I'm a baker, not a plater. <laughs> Do you um pour some of that ham sauce on the dressing um you could oh no it's still too hot it's it's gonna crumble <laughs> the dressing needs to sit for probably 10 or 15 min minutes or it'll just fall apart oh but isn't gonna fall apart when he puts it in his mouth yeah <laughs> So you that's just like, want me to just swap it on the plate <laughs> that's like customers come in and they're like this chocolate bar is broken. I'm like, well, aren't you going to break it to eat it anyway? <laughs> you know? That's you're true. Gonna, you're going to bite it. It's going to break. Oh. Let's see here. Okay. Neil We're gonna says, Robin is good at making popcorn. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Neil. I, I buy it already made. She's good at making popcorn but how much goes in her mouth is <laughs> yeah i'm good at making it disappear yeah J jj <laughs> says give that man some food poor guy's hungry <laughs> and red's like dang it <laughs> i'm just i just pop the ham back in the oven to keep it warm you could have given him a morsel of pineapple or something Y'all, he's giving me these puppy dog eyes. <laughs> Y'all are not helping him. I'm hungry. <laughs> I've been waiting all this time. <laughs> That's his reward. He gets uh, to eat dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah. He said, come on, y'all. Whoops. It was a two-inch moon, y'all. <laughs> I didn't even notice it until somebody people said. get excited over two inches and then shut up about everything else. <laughs> Neil said, Neil said, Mr. Red going to do a review of his food. Are you going to try it on cam? And BP said, hello to you, Heather. Everyone needs a Canadian hug now and then. <laughs> Angelina says, Poor Miss Red lost five pounds waiting. <laughs> I'm not repeating what he said. <laughs> He's patiently waiting over there, but he said, isn't it gross to watch people eat? <laughs> you could do a short of him like about to eat his yummy food on the table. Boat, food forest. Permaculture is here. Hello, 
Good evening, Hello. Baked with Miss Red and fellow Earthlings. I have made a chocolate cake in the oven, made from scratch, glass of milk, and I'm in heaven in 15 minutes. That well, sounds great. Welcome to the channel, Food Forest Permaculture. Make sure mm -hmm. to subscribe and hit that bell button on all so you're notified next time Miss Red goes live. And Heather says, Mr. Red, no mooning, please. <laughs> it was an accident, Heather. He was bending over to look for something in the bottom of the freezer. Like, we can't help it if, you know, maybe his pants were loose <laughs> that day. He just wears his pajama pants as soon as he gets home from work. <laughs> yeah. It's cold. It's getting cold. It's not cold yet, but it's getting there. ABD says, food forest, you better hide that chocolate cake from Robin. <laughs> and the icing. Is there icing on it? The icing is what you got to hide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see if it's cool enough. Probably not, but come on, dressing. And that is a hot pan. I wonder if I use a scoop. Can't I don't do think Mr. Red has um have you had pineapple casserole before? Have I made it for you? I can't remember. I don't care if he says. He's like, he just get it, it on anyway. get it on the plate, hurry up. He eats it anyway. <laughs> Cream cheese icing. Oh no! <laughs> the chocolate oh, chip. You're in trouble now. <laughs> Yo, she loves cream cheese icing. <laughs> yeah, I never had it before that night. I think that's why I liked it so much. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, from like a can like that or whatever. I never had it before. ABD says cream cheese icing is the best. Food Forest says, hello, Neil. Nice to meet you. My name is Howie, and I'm from Vancouver Island. Cool, another Canadian. I'm just going to keep this in the oven to keep it warm. Do you turn down the off. oven or turn off the oven or leave it at 350? It's off. I just leave it, um, you know, where it'll stay warm. Okay. Plate. Uh oh. I did something. Did I go away? Oh, no. Okay. I said to you too, food forest. Ooh, look at that. Yummy. Doesn't that look good? You have to oh. come over here, Mr. Red, and try it. Yeah. ABD says, Howie, that's right. I was trying to remember your name. LOL. I think it froze. Did it freeze? Yeah. You're still holding the plate. Is it back? Okay. Yeah, it's back. Okay. Neil says, I'm British, but I live in Arkansas. Lucky me. We don't really consider Arkansas part of the whole picture, you know, just... <laughs> They're on a different different level over there. It's like the United States and Arkansas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to confuse her. I thought it was the United States and Alaska. Because don't they have like lower 48 or something like that? Well, that means Alaska and Hawaii. Oh. What, what do you want me to try? Okay. What do you want him to try first? What do we want to do? Uh, yeah, sure. Food Forest says, thank you, everyone. And if you leave a comment, I will check out your channel as well. Angelina says, hang on here. Feed me, Mr. Red, but you have to use a long fork. And Neil said, it looks good, but I would love some gravy over my ham. Uh -oh. Wait, a long what about... Fork. 
<laughs> well, I'll tell, I'll tell you like I told her. This is all I got. <laughs> um, Neil says, wait, what about Alabama? It's not where you are? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not in this. I'm Switzerland. <laughs> ABG said, right. he's just hungry. Let him have his dinner. Mm. Oh, I got an instant mm, as mm. soon as he put it in his mouth. <laughs> Whoops. You're supposed to have. What are you eating? I don't know. I don't know. I just put it in my mouth. Did you try the dressing? Mm -hmm. Okay. How was the dressing? good crunchy <laughs> oh that's because you're eating the crackers off of the pineapple casserole that's why it's crunchy this one this is dressing right. i have to tell him what's on his plate dressing pineapple casserole ham i knew it's ham okay. jj said what about tennessee food four says my cake is ready be right back Brett says, hi, everyone. Sorry, I've been here, but working. Just going to have a dinner break. Having turkey breast roast, potatoes, asparagus, mushrooms, gravy. What? You now, we know, <laughs> now we know what he was working on. Yeah, that sounds good. I like asparagus. Wait, is that, a, like hungry, is that a hungry man dinner? No, oh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> All right, so what's your review? What do you think? My only disadvantage is you didn't put enough on my plate, so I have to speak with your manager. <laughs> That's Robin there. <laughs> Maybe you need a bigger scoop for portion. Yeah, no tip for you. <laughs> ABD says, Brett got skilled too. Yep. He got volunteered to do the cookie challenge because he's quite the baker. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, over at Kelly's craft, uh, Coffee and Crafting with Kelly, we're doing a cookie challenge where we're going to bake cookies together. And you'll pick a recipe from her community page, and that will be the cookie that you make or bake. good it's good y'all and we did that in an hour that was it yeah that's pretty good hang on i'm gonna put the email for um the cookie oh, yeah. challenge so if We're you have get... a go ahead no okay here okay so anyways um there's a cookie challenge that's being put on by uh, crafting and coffee with Kelly. And if you have a cookie recipe and you want to participate, just email uh, your recipe to cookieexchange23 at gmail.com. And then what's going to happen is they're going to do, um, they're going to, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen, but they're going to, they're going to take uh, the recipes and they're going to, I think, assign, aren't they? People, the recipe or you get to choose which recipe you want to make and then on the um 9th of december they're gonna have it's kind of gonna be like the crafting challenge but this time it's the cookie challenge and you can make your cookies on the live with kelly at the same time or show your cookies that you've made on the live mm -hmm. as well so it's pretty fun if you want to participate just send your recipe in to that uh, email address. Uh, I mean, yeah, email address. Mm -hmm. Send a recipe. I think what she said was is once a recipe has been chosen like twice, they're going to take it off. That way there's a fair chance of having a good variety and not oh, yeah. like 10 people making the same different cook same cookie, you know. Yeah. JJ <laughs> says, I have to go. I have work in the morning. Wanted to show my support. Thanks a lot for coming, JJ. Was Thank nice you having so you. Y'all, this is so good. <laughs> the pineapple and the ham and like all that savory in the um, the dressing. Neil says too much pineapple. 
you know what? Too and much meal. It, <laughs> and he said it just like that. No. no, I bet he said it like this. But it's too much pineapple. <laughs> yes. Five cookie baking challenge, December 9th at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern time. And there's the link for Kelly's channel because they're going to be posting the recipes on her community page. So do, if you like to bake and you're in, <laughs> if you're interested in, in joining, we will be happy to have you. Robin, what cookie fun. are you going to make? Um, I don't know. You haven't decided? I'm scared. Are you waiting for are you waiting for more recipes to be posted? Yeah. When is the cutoff for the recipes to be sent in? Did we discuss that? I do think after recipe is chosen twice, we'll remove it from the list. Oh or yeah. Choose your own. And you can't choose your own recipe. Yeah. All right. And don't tell the person of the recipe that you're making it. Yeah, because it's gonna surprise. be like it's gonna be like Secret Santa. Yeah. But with food, cookies. Food Forest says, cake is delish. Good job. I'm Adding more here. recipes all the time, said ABD. <laughs> I'm eating I'm over here eating Mr. Red's plate. You're so good. Poor I Mr. Red, it. you stole his food. I don't listen to that. Now uh, he gets a bigger scoop. Yeah, I'll make him a whole nother plate. <laughs> I have a question to everyone, said Neil. Do you enjoy the food you cook yourself, or would you enjoy it more if someone else cooked it? I think someone else for me. Hmm. They say, like, you know. Things taste better when you don't make it yourself. I don't know if that's true or not, but I mean, I tend to enjoy what I make. I feel like it's someone else. Definitely. Except for that, <laughs> that cake. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <on> that cake. <laughs> I, love, I love the cake. Yeah. ABD says last date to submit recipe should be Friday, December 8th. Cool. Yes. Angelina that says, can you ship me deviled eggs instead of cookies? Diabetic. Oh, those would not be good by the time they made it. <laughs> yeah, they'd be awful, wouldn't they? <laughs> well, that's it, you guys. That's that's what I have. It's a simple meal. I, we're a family of five, so this will feed all of us, and there will probably be a little <laughs> leftover, which doesn't last because midnight snacks. Um so you can do this as large or as small as you want to but this combo together is amazing amazing <laughs> neil says mr red can't have liked it there was too much pineapple there's no such thing <laughs> you could use orange juice instead of pineapple juice that's good too or cranberries you could do cranberries. Cranberries and ham is okay together. Change it up. Make it your own. Nothing wrong with that. Thank you, Robin, so much for coming on and, and reading. That made it so You're much welcome. easier to do. We flew right through that. ABD says, change last day to submit. Recipe should be Wednesday, December 6th. <laughs> Good night, Earthlings. See y'all again. Good night. Thank you fun. for coming in. You lovely souls. <laughs> they say. And Thank make you, sure everybody. Make sure when the video when the um the live's over and it becomes a video, if you could go and leave a comment, please. It really helps the video and it helps YouTube to serve the video out to other people that like uh something quick and easy for Thanksgiving. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. I hope you have a great night, and we'll see you back next Wednesday for pumpkin cheesecake. Pumpkin Don't miss cheesecake. It. Or hit that sub oh, there goes my screen. Hit that sub button. You don't want to miss it. 
All right. We'll see you next time. I forgot I had to hit the end button. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.